is Paul Bergen from the Mars Hill blog, which you can find at www.paulbergin.blogspot.co.uk. Continuing my series of political heroes who, of mine who I think influenced society lived in. Today we're looking at William Gladstone, who was a Liberal Prime Minister on four occasions in the 19th century, first from 1868 to 1874, secondly from 1880 to 1885, thirdly from 1886, briefly in 1886, and from 1892 to 1904. He uh, is buried in Westminster Abbey, and I believe he, he was on his coffins on display in Westminster Hall prior to the funeral, which was unusual. And he was also perhaps one of our greatest prime ministers. He did start off as a conservative. He was a prime minister. He was a minister under Sir Robert Peel, who was prime minister in the eighteen forties. He did move to the Liberal Party uh, later on, um, and he. A lot of things started later on in life. He did become an MP in the 1830s, shortly, around about the time of the Great Reform Bill, and was MP consistently for about 60 years. And from the 1830s to the 1890s, he transcended the time of Wellington, uh, all the, and uh, Earl Grey, all the way through to the time of... Um, the Marquess of Salisbury, represented by Balfour in the Commons, and the Earl of Rosebery. He, his time as Prime Minister, yes, there was a degree of some of his ideals were taken by free market conservatives, but there were other great things to Gladstone. You know, the Education Act of 1870 happened under his premiership. He was against hardcore militarism uh, and jingoism for the sake of it. He was not above military intervention, but there had to be moral caveats. He was an intensely moral man, devout Christian. And he also was... Um, when he was a... Uh, sorry, my brain has gone... Also, very passionately uh, for Ireland Home Rule, and this was ridiculed and attacked very much at the time, but he, history has shown that he was correct. King George V said when Ireland got independence in 1921, if only we had accepted what Gladstone had wanted on Home Rule, a lot of the trauma would have been avoided. He, he lost his third ministry over the issue of Home Rule, but he tried... He tried again and again. And his moral fibre, his courage, the fact that in, on a number of issues he has proved right in the long term, the fact that he would not go into difficult decisions without strong moral principle shows that Gladstone is someone who still is an individual politician who many should look to in today's life. And also, he he still holds influence today. His former house, Horridan Castle, is his um, is a li now a library dedicated to his life and work, in a similar way to the presidential libraries in the US. So that is William Gladstone.